what's going on everyone happy thursday today is october the 17th hope you guys all had a fantastic trading day i did i streamed for a little bit today which is a rare event for me i don't really jump on i'm not really a streamer um but i had a little fun traded some some things there if you guys want to go check out today's live stream it's on my channel just go to the live section of my channel also guys 80 percent off apex they are back 85 dollars activation fees 80 percent off those evaluations one day to pass all that good stuff use the link down in the description box you can just use code save 80 and you're going to get that discount with that being said we're going to go over my extremely easy scalping strategy for um for the um nasdaq 100 okay and again you can use this on any instrument it doesn't have to just be the nasdaq 100 um but i like using it on the nasdaq that's what i trade so let's kind of get into the day and see exactly what was going on again like we've seen in the past we're getting this big extravagant move off the open and then a lot of consolidation, a lot of chop. So here's a couple of things that I wanna point out and that I want you guys to kind of focus on for the time being. And that is locking down some type of trade window, okay? So between what hour and what hour does, you know, your setup on your strategy present itself the most? For me, it's between market open and around lunchtime. Now. Do I trade during lunch? Sure. Do I trade a little after lunch? Sure. Um, I never really trade power hour, no interest in it. By that time, I'm already mentally shot and mentally drained. So my trade window, active trade window for live accounts and funded accounts is going to be between market open and lunchtime. And then during lunchtime and a little after lunch, I'll mess around with evaluations, combines, so forth and so forth. Here's the strategy, I'm rambling. People say that I ramble too much, I talk too much. Okay, here's the strategy, very simple. We have one indicator on the screen that is a 20 period moving average. So the 20 simple moving average, okay? It's very self-explanatory, that's the white line. Five minute time frame. We're looking at the NQ chart. I trade minis and I trade one at a time. My stop loss, 15 or 20 points, depending on how I feel. Well, which one works better? You figure that out for yourself. 15 points or 20 points, that's what I use. That's my stop loss. What's your take profit? Five points. Why is that? One winning trade is $200, or excuse me, $100, okay? So if I win one trade, that's $100 banked. I trade multiple accounts. So if I'm able to take one trade, two trades, three trades on three different accounts that are all funded, well, I just made $200, $300, $400 a day. I let the days pass after two weeks. Look at the numbers. Am I eligible for a payout? Great. Am I not? Great. Let's trade another week. And when I do get eligible for a payout, I strip them of $2,000 and do it all over again. That's all I do. Very slow, steady, eddy. I'm not trying to make $2,000 a day. I'm not trying to make a thousand dollars a day if i can knock off two or three trades great if i if i can't great but i just keep going okay so the first trade setup of the day happens literally off the open it was a huge 100 point candle flush a lot of people are thinking wow i don't want to take that short that's too much risk my risk is mechanical Okay, remember, I, I made a video, I talked a little bit about dynamic risk, dynamic stop losses, and mechanical stop losses, mechanical risk. I feel that everyone should trade mechanically until they get the, the years of experience under their belt and they get the bankroll, right? You get the bankroll to be able to have dynamic stop losses where you're going to use other areas of supply and demand and confluences and zones to kind of let trades work out so you can get those big two, three, four hour trades. I think that in the beginning, if you want to keep things very simple, how much do you want to risk? Great, I want to risk, I don't know, $250. Okay, how many contracts can I trade? Okay, how many points can I allow this to go against me? Okay, enter the trade. So in this particular scenario, the low price was sitting at 20472 We do confirm, obviously, I don't even need to explain to you, but this is another 78-point candle. 
you could have taken five points here you could have taken 10 points here so forth and so forth so if you did trade one mini contract you were up between 100 and 200 dollars depending on if you had that five point take profit or that 10 point take profit again i am taking a five point take profit right now okay now the next setup that i'm always taking and I'm always looking to take is the 30 minute opening range break okay so what i'm looking at is what is that 30 minute opening range what's the high what's the low and once we confirm i'm getting into that what does that mean as soon as price breaks the 30 minute opening range i'm getting short i'm taking another five points so one trade two trades up 200 dollars. i would definitely recommend traders to kind of stick with this and and get at least 20 30 40 trades under your belt and call it a, you know and call it a day like meaning you look for one setup you take the 30 minute opening range you call it a day you take you look for one setup you take the 30 minute opening range, you call it a day, and you do this for 20, 30, or 40 trades. You stack a balance, you get comfortable, you look at the market and forget about the rest of the day, okay? Um, if you do continue to kind of look and see what, what happened a little bit later, we got another five minute 20 SMA play to the long side here. That price is sitting at 204.43, and then it confirms and goes up to 204.49. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is six points. You have to have a hard take profit at five points so a bracket order is great so as soon as you get into this trade if it touches five points you get filled okay makes sense now it immediately turned around and went short and it did confirm if you did take this you would be at a, at a loss at a deficit so let's 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 play devil's advocate here we took the law we took the short we made money we took the 30 minute opening range we'd made money and we made money here now we decided to take the short well we just lost money how much did we lose? We lost this win, we lost uh, this win, and we lost this win. So now we're essentially break even on the day. What happens in that particular scenario? A lot of times traders will go off the rails and they'll do something absolutely crazy and then blow their whole account up just because they went from up $300 to negative or to flat. Stick to the plan. The plan is when your opportunity presents itself, you take the trades. You got another setup literally at 11.20 in the morning and you would have popped this off for five points. So now you're back in the green $100. You got another setup that confirmed. This setup short never confirmed. You got another setup that confirmed long that popped for another 100 bucks if you're trading one mini. At this point in time, you should be five or six trades in and this is during lunchtime, I would stop trading, okay? Because at that point, you went from being positive to break even back to positive stop trading once you go back to positive don't over trade and go back to what you could have been at or what this that and the other again have a trade window it's going to save your ass here's a generic trade window for everyone market open to the end of lunch so for me in california or i'll just whatever eastern time from 9 30 okay from 9 30 in the morning to 1 p.m from 9.30 in the morning to 1 p.m. No trades after one, no trades in the beginning of lunchtime, so ignore the first setup, you know, after at noon, right? Between 12 and 12.15, just ignore anything there because typically when lunch just starts, it's very choppy and very volatile, just ignore those. But anything after that, go ahead and, and feel free to, to take um and that's it and just operate like that for two to three weeks see how you do you know come back here let me know hey guys you know hey d i i traded this way for two weeks this is what i did you know this is the problem i need, need to work on this is what i learned about myself hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you guys need those evaluation accounts apex that link is down in the description box below if you guys want to trade with me each and every single day in my discord with the community and the team where you get access to private lessons and access to everything else that we're working on we're working on a new strategy concept right now as we speak uh definitely join that community that link is also in the description box below and i'll catch you guys on the next video